Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this world. We are here again for another Coffee with C. Our topic for today is from our friend Ritual Tree. And here it is. I value relationships and I have a lack of them. I have a few great friends but I value some sort of relationship and I don't know why. And I am really lonely all the time but I have friends and family. What's wrong with me? There is nothing wrong with you. In this video, we will be talking about how to be happy alone. I want to draw the clear distinction between alone and lonely. Being alone is a fact. Being lonely is subjective. Being alone means you are by yourself. It could be circumstance or it could be a choice. Being lonely, on the other hand, is not a fact. Rather, it's an emotion that you feel when you are unhappy being by yourself. Being on your own and you are seeking for a company from friends or a group of people. I want you to change your perception on being alone. There is nothing wrong for being alone. In fact, you need it for yourself. But most of the time, all of us fear being alone. Because if we are single, we fear that we'll be single for the rest of our lives. And it seems like there's a time bomb that we have to meet in order to get out of being alone. We fear being alone. But do you know the perks of being alone? You can do whatever you want. You are free. You have ample time for yourself without limitations from other human beings. When you're alone, you can travel whenever and wherever you want to. You can spend more time focusing on your work, your hobby, your activities without the fear of neglecting a partner or friends. If you don't share your personal space or your personal life with someone, you can do whatever you want without compromising or giving up what you want to do. Being being alone means being able to decide exactly what you want to do with your time without having to work out a plan that everybody is happy about. Once you change your perspective on being alone, I want you to start thinking about what kind of things that you would love to do in your time being alone. What are the things that you love to do or you enjoy doing? Go for it! If you don't have any, it's time to learn something new. Is there something you've always wanted to learn but you've never gotten a chance to do it? Now, my friend, you have the privilege of an alone time. It's the perfect timing to develop new hobbies, participate in new activities, and learn what interests you. Let me give you an example. I personally want to read. I love to learn new things through reading. And there are so much books that I have not read. There are so much documentaries that I have not watched. There are so much podcasts that I have not heard. It's great to do that when you are alone. You don't have any distractions. Imagine doing these things with a group of people. You can grow your skills and knowledge base more than if you were busy spending time with other people. Once you start doing this, you will be amazed that being alone is a gift that you can give to yourself. There are so much things that you can do only when you are alone. Being alone, you will get the opportunity to know yourself even more. Let me give you another example. I travel 95% of the time alone. People would ask, wouldn't you have more fun traveling if you have someone to go with? My answer is both yes and no. Traveling with people you love is a rewarding experience. But I have as much fun traveling alone. It's entirely a different experience but not less enjoyable. When I travel alone, what I learn about is myself. 
I have become more stronger, more independent, and more resourceful. I get to observe more, acquire knowledge, and I have learned how to trust myself that otherwise I wouldn't if I am with someone else. The thing is, traveling isn't the only time being alone is beneficial. It is very powerful in any aspect of life. The thing is, it seems like today, at least in the US, there must be something wrong with you if you are alone. But the fact that I want you to understand is that you cannot rely on people's company to make you feel company. You are way more than enough all by yourself. You don't need a large group of people to validate your worth. When you are alone, I want you to remind yourself that you are alone because you choose to be. It's a choice. There is nothing wrong eating in a restaurant by yourself. There is nothing wrong in going to the movie theater by yourself. There is nothing wrong going to a park, enjoying your own company. You get to enjoy yourself and your existence. See, what if people think I'm crazy and they laugh at me because I'm by myself and I look like a loser? Well, my friend, do you know who is more powerful between you and them when you get to learn how to spend time alone? It's you. Because these people are depending on their group of friends to validate themselves and they cannot stand on their own. While you are there, alone, by yourself, you are so sufficient confident and content one way or the other the people that they rely to to get their validation there will be times that they wouldn't be available because of whatever life throws at them it's a strength and a life skill that you can develop do you realize that most people who have a lot of friends encounter more drama negativity and stress in their life the thing is it's very easy to find someone to spend time with but when you have high standards for the people you allow into your life you are telling yourself that you are better off by yourself than with someone who isn't a great fit for you if you realize these facts and embrace your newly found perspective of being alone you will appreciate your state of being alone Keep your requests, your topics, comment down below. I create videos every week for my Coffee with C community and your topic may be next. Until next time!